Hello Aries, what is going on? Welcome to your love and romance reading for July 2023. Welcome back to the channel. So this reading may resonate if you or the person that you are connecting with have an Aries sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other major Aries placements. Please remember though that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And also feel free to switch the roles if it makes sense. I could be talking about you or your person because I'm simply reading energies. You are good enough, just flew out here full moon in Virgo. Okay, so for some of you, you may have Virgo in your chart. Maybe your person does, but that's not necessary. You are good enough here though. So for some of you, I do feel like you are going to be really stepping into this energy of really realizing your value, your worth even more. So I feel like this, I feel like the Aries Collective I'm connecting with is very much connected to their values and their beliefs and even more so it's like strengthening but here and there you may have felt very challenged in a sense with this person at times you may have been wavering back and forth wondering you know if you were good enough for this person or maybe Aries you know you've been asking is this person good enough for me okay <laughs> There could be someone, this could be your person who is wondering if they are good enough. I feel like there were expectations here. What do you need to release at the bottom of the deck? There could have been expectations here. Someone may have been let down. Let's pull some more energy here for the Aries Collective. Wisdom. I don't pull these in the reverse. So this is equivalent to the Hierophant in the typical Rider Waite deck. And as I was saying, values, beliefs, tradition even. But this is also about, as it says, wisdom. Okay, and what is truly in alignment? At the bottom of the deck, we do have throat chakra. Okay, so this month may be about expression and communication. There may be something here that needs to be communicated. And I do feel like through effective communication or one way or another, there is going to be some sort of wisdom, the ability to turn knowledge into wisdom here. I feel like any sort of fogginess is going to be clearing up for you. I feel like you're getting some answers here. For some of you, if you were feeling like you were an issue at all or contributing to something, I don't know why I'm getting that. that. It's only for some of you. You're realizing that it's, it's never been that. You have never been the issue here. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. Solitude. Redacted. So someone's holding back here a bit communication in the reverse okay shattered at the bottom of the deck so there may have been a situation here where it felt like there was some sort of wake-up call or your reality was shattered in some way shape or form there may have been something unexpected i do feel like there is a sense of solitude this may be you or you or your person but again turning knowledge into wisdom there's a lot of reflection going on redacted is telling me though that there's something here that needs to be said but someone is holding back or not all of the information has been revealed and this could be why aries you are wondering if there's like something that you did here or if you contributed to something in some way shape or form uh communication in the reverse there's some sort of communication block though that i'm really getting it could be it's like i feel like you have a lot of questions and i feel like it's because there's someone here who just hasn't been straightforward. I do feel like there's a lot here about what is conventional, what is in alignment. I have regrets. Okay, so we're going to be checking out your person's headspace, heart space here. There's something else I must do first. I'm afraid to be vulnerable. Okay, so there's a lot here. I know I need to make a decision at the bottom of the deck. So and someone knows that they need to make some sort of decision here. And this could simply be about coming here, uh, coming forward and expressing something here. I do feel like there's someone here who is in solitude. There's someone here who may have regrets. 
uh, related to something possibly holding back actions, words. I do feel someone may have pulled away here and they, I feel like there's regrets about how they went about things. There's something else I must do first. They may not have told you this. There could have been this like avoidant energy and with communication in the reverse, I'm afraid to be vulnerable. You know, there's someone here who's afraid to speak up. They're afraid to be vulnerable. They're afraid to really embrace their feelings and possibly like the difficult conversations, putting themselves out there. So I do feel like there's someone here who has regrets. They're thinking, they're reflecting, and someone may have distanced themselves, like I said, in some way, not really telling you everything that occurred here. And it's because there's a fear of vulnerability in some way, shape, or form. Now, with this being the Hierophant card in the typical Rider Waite deck, there could be something here having to do with career, uh, work, things of that nature, but that is not necessary. Organizations, groups. Okay. So, I did not realize that this is a little crooked here. My camera must be a bit off. So let's get out the tarot and see what is really going on here for Aries. Here. And the person that they are connecting with this month. And for some of you, this may also resonate uh, throughout the first part of August as well, but let's see what is going on here for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and any other major Aries placements. What is going on here? We're going to be taking a look at the current situation, the block, the past, and what has led up to the current situation, your energy as well as your person's energy, and then what is headed your way in this connection? You know, what's next here? The star in the reverse Aquarian energy, so the moon, wow, two major arcana, Pisces energy, there is a, a sense of uncertainty here, there is some self-doubt, there is a situation that does need to be healed, that requires he healing, okay? Queen of Swords upright, so there could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, but that is not necessary. The devil representing your person. The Ace of Swords in the reverse representing you, uh, Capricorn energy, by the way, for the devil. And the Six of Pentacles, okay. All right, so I do like that. Very interesting Aries. But there's still something unknown here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the uh, King of Swords in the reverse and the Chariot in the reverse secondary energy and then the six of cups but <clears throat> i'm feeling something in my throat <clears throat> excuse me like a tickle there could be some communication issues here uh someone needs to speak up about something the king of swords in the reverse and the chariot in the reverse there could also be a cancer here but again not necessary there is this cold distant stuck energy okay because with, when the chariot is upright this is like you know where you're going you know the destination you know how to get there and there's that willpower, that determination, okay, going for it anyway, even if there are some fears. But when it's in the reverse, this is a bit of a stuck, wandering, directionless energy. And with the King of Swords in the reverse, I do feel an air of confusion, but I also feel cold and distant energy. I do feel like there is someone who does have some high standards here in love, but also someone who is afraid to be vulnerable. With the Queen of Swords showing up here, I do feel like there was direct communication, or at least there was someone here who was internally, you know, uh, thinking about something in a clear, direct, logical way. The star in the reverse is indicating, as I said, there could be some self-doubt, uh, losing hope in a situation, but there's a need for healing. The moon, though, showing up as a challenge or a block, this is telling me 
that there is an air again of uncertainty confusion possibly even deception it's like what is not being seen here and because this information isn't here it's not showing itself it's not revealing itself aries how are you able to see clearly how are you supposed to make any sort of decision okay the ace of swords in the reverse representing you is telling me you know there is confusion on your end you may not be communicating at least clearly with this person um you may feel as though there's a lack of opportunity to understand something here the devil representing your person is telling me i mean this could be really anything here or it could simply be someone who has a lot of like strong capricorn in their chart but that's not necessary or they could just be a capricorn but the devil can represent anything that really stands in the one in one's way of reaching their highest potential so this could be fears this could be self-sabotage this could be obsessions this could be materialism this could be really anything we're gonna have to clarify and you know see what this is all about i do see incoming communication here and some sort of equal exchange equal give and take so i do like that i do feel like there will be some sort of situation that does get cleared up here but what i want to do here is i want to uh clarify all of these cards get some more information see what's really going on as a reader it's just easier for me to draw everything all at once on camera and just see what's really going on and for that transparency i do it all on camera so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna dive deep All right, Aries, let's get into this. So I just want to quickly say that for that transparency, I did draw all of the cards on camera. I did turn some of these piles upside down just so that the table does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine, but we're going to be going through everything one by one, starting with the cards that are upright, and then we'll make our way to the uh, piles upside down and we'll go through everything thoroughly. Uh, but let's start out with the past. Now, for some of you, this may be the more recent past. For others of you, you know, this could be the more distant past and maybe for others of you you're actually dealing with this energy right now and if that is the case and this is signaling that you will soon be transitioning out of this energy into the more uh current energies or upcoming energies which we'll get into in just a moment but i do feel that and by the way we do have sagittarius energy here leo energy as well as uh, air energy gemini libra aquarius but there may have been and this could be either internal or external okay you know what let's actually figure that out to see what it is for the most of you but there could have been something that was said here um this is queen of swords let me see if i can get some so there may have been a missed opportunity here for communication or some sort of communication that led to some sort of missed opportunity okay there if there was communication here it may have felt as though someone like they weren't really feeling heard they were not feeling as though they were fully getting their message across the eight of swords in the reverse though with this energy you know this may have been an attempt to get something off of one's chest or to really you know take the blindfold off and face fears here um to really take a look at things a bit deeper not you know looking away from something the wheel of fortune is also telling me that you know this was cause and effect one thing led to another here and whether this was directly part of the conversation or the result of it i do feel as though with the five of wands there there was some conflict and it could have felt as though as though you and this person were at odds with each other 
or someone was feeling at odds with something here around possibly what someone wanted, one's happiness, which way to go. Okay. I do want to pull an oracle here just to get some more information. those cards out of here please tell me more about this for the aries collective what is this all about robotic in the reverse so there was a need to be a bit more vulnerable here and open up this may have been something related to do to emotions or desires quality time spending quality time together how someone spends their time Or what someone does with their time. So I feel that someone was reflecting on this or there was something that was actually expressed here as I said. But if it was, it may have felt as though Things didn't go the way as one desired because it could have could have caused some conflict or feeling at odds with one another. Or this could be with a Leo, but that's not necessary. But the star in the reverse, the three of swords, the four of swords, okay, and the five of swords in the reverse, as well as the ten of swords, because I wanted to know more about this uh, five of swords in the reverse. But these main cards here, Aquarian energy by the way with the star, but there is a sense of heartbreak, grief, loss, sense of self-doubt, or possibly losing hope in a situation. There's a need for healing, and it's not quite happening. The Four of Swords is telling me that there is a bit of a time out, okay, between the two of you. There is a retreat. And the Five of Swords in the reverse is telling me that there is some mental conflict around whatever this is. But at the same time, I do feel that with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, there is this desire to recover and come back together and to cooperate and be on the same team and work things out despite this heartbreak. There is this opportunity. So... There could have been conflict or upset that occurred here in the past. But even if there is this time out and you're spending more time with yourself, especially with the solitude card, and you know, you may be, especially with the star in the reverse, wondering if you're good enough. Did you mess up here? Did you do the wrong thing? Redacted, things are being held back. Let's pull an oracle. But there is, there is a desire. It, it may, f there's a de desire to um, work things out here. But there is pain, and someone's healing from this passion in the reverse. Shattered. So passion in the reverse is telling me that there is a serious tone to all of this which makes so much sense unfinished business wild card at the bottom of the deck so yeah there's unfinished business here uh things feel a bit serious with passion in the reverse it could feel as though things kind of ran dry as well like there was a lack of passion um but thing and, and this could have been what shattered it for some of you it could have felt like someone was losing passion or drive in the connection but alternatively if that's not the case and this is just a serious matter and there was something that was really shattered here and there's a sense of unfinished business and if you two are to come together and really work through this it's about figuring out how to pick up the pieces but i do feel like it, this is almost like a bit of like a tower moment The moon, the three of pentacles, the king of cups in the reverse, and the four of wands. You know, the moon is telling me here, as I said, there is some uncertainty. There may be some 
fears, things that are not being seen, even deception. And the King of Cups in the reverse, this could be a water sign, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, but that's not necessary. But there is someone here who is feeling a lot of ups and downs emotionally. Okay, and there may be some fears and uncertainties regarding the future with, you know, working with this person, collaborating, bringing in cohesion, especially if there's someone here who is a bit emotionally volatile or someone here that was struggling with their emotions. Tell me more about the moon. Three of Cups, what is, okay, let's see what this is. I'm actually, tell me Three of Cups, or Three of Pentacles, and it was Three of Pentacles in my, in my headspace. Okay, so I feel like, you know what, actually tell me more about this Three of Cups because I just want to make sure, because there could be energy of some sort of third party here, person, place, thing, concept, idea. But that's not the case. I'm picking up two different storylines to so take what resonates. I do feel like there's questions if you two will actually actually work through this and come together, especially if there, there were a lot of chaotic emotions, back and forth, impulsiveness. Um, it may feel at times when things get good, it just, it's something gets mishandled or there is some sort of hot and cold behavior here at times with someone. Confuse, yeah, so there's a need to get out of this confusion. Contract in the reverse. Someone, I feel like it's like, do you want this or do you not want this? Because... There, there may be even confusion around why someone distanced themselves, and if it's not that, then this could be a, uh, around what someone really wants, okay? And if there was a third-party person, place, thing, concept, idea, remember, it, if it's a person, it doesn't need to be romantic. I mean, this could be a job. This could be anything, right? Um, but I do feel like there could be questions around what someone really wants here, and what it is that someone is going to walk away from or if they have walked away from something. But I do feel that someone's emotions or the way that someone had been acting may have opened the eyes of another person to see that despite the desire for stability and security or what they say they desire, it's like things are not being managed well in order to actually obtain that. I feel like there's difficulty coming together and working through things constructively and there's a need to get out of this confusion, possibly why a contract or an agreement was broken or if it will be. This could be very much like a limbo energy because there's this unfinished business. It's like, okay, I'm confused. Are we going to work through this? If this is a domestic situation where you live with this person and this is only for some of you, but if that's the case, it could be that it's like there's a lot of uncertainty because the person that you are occupying the space with is a bit emotionally unhinged or they're emotionally off in some way, shape, or form. Now, your person showing up as the Devil, the Seven of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. For some of you, there may be substances that are involved here, but that is not, um, that is not the case for all of you. For many of you, this may have to do with work, career, finances. I feel like there's someone here who feels as though they have a lot to live up to. There may be fears. And what I feel like this person, they have fears about being vulnerable, but at the same time, they may be 
feeling vulnerable. And so any sort of shiny thing that kind of comes up here and may catch their attention, especially if this has to do with work, career, finances, something that they're learning. So there's something that this person is looking at and may have to do with stability and security. And there may be a lot coming up for this person, like what is stability, stability to them? What is security to them? There's questions with this page. The Empress. Confusion around change. Okay, yeah, so this is making a lot of sense. Usually I don't pull these many cards. Judgment at the bottom of the deck, but this is just making a lot of sense with the Empress, the Devil and the Empress. There's this desire to really nurture something here, create. This is... Be Taurus, this could be Libra, we got Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries energy. It's like someone really wants something here, but there's confusions around possibly what changes someone needs to make or confusion or even options. What to do here, it's really what to do, what to do, because there's been a resistant to, resistance to change. Or even if there's a desire to make something happen, something has not been changing. And I feel like it has created overall this instability for this King of Pentacles, which could be an Earth sign, but that's not necessary. There is a... Yeah, it's, it's almost like this person really wants to make something happen. At times they may be led astray. At times they feel like there's so many options. It's, it's ultimately this stuck energy. For, for most of you, I feel like this is just confusion. And so this person is feeling a bit like their, their turf is unstable. There's some sort of inflammatory situation. And this person may be really trying to control... something here I do feel like this person is wanting to move on they're wanting to go towards better circumstances so yeah it's like this person really wants to make something happen but when you have the Empress upright and the Emperor in the reverse because the Empress orchestrates the Emperor commands So it's like all these possible things, but how do I make it happen? Also feeling regrets here. Saudad, okay. Forgiveness. There's someone here who's missing you, who is longing, who is... Yeah, okay, okay. This is connection so we have manipulation in the reverse which is huge because when manipulation is in the reverse this is saying a lot here um someone is finally willing to confront something here i feel like this devil is more of like this obsession Okay, I, because this card is about seeing through manipulative behavior, confronting, refusing to be manipulated, but the devil is here. So I feel like in, with Saudad here, this is sadness, this is mourning, something that's missing. There's a sense of stagnation. And there's a need to confront this. There's someone here who desires forgiveness. And I feel like this person wants to move forward. They want to reconnect here. It's just turning this into an action plan. Like actually taking the first steps here. Let's get a message from this person. I'm going with the flow because I feel like this person is very much in their head. I plan to reach out soon. 
We already have messages from them. My feelings run deep for you. I'm sorry at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, there's something I, something I must do first. So this person could have been doing something else first. There may have been distractions. There, this person, I feel like um, this person may have gotten very much wrapped up with something here that may have interfered with this connection, led to this shattered energy, this unfinished business, really like a lot of serious tones here. Now this person is sad. They're wanting to confront this though. I feel like this is this person is in, a bit inexperienced with situations like this. At least with you, there's something different here. I do feel like this person is trying to remain rooted in stability. But again, this person may be trying to figure out what that means to them, what that looks like in, in some situation, in some way. Okay, you're showing up as the Ace of Swords in the reverse, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Cups in the reverse. So there may be something that you're uncertain about here. You may feel like there is not really an opportunity to communicate or to figure something out, to, to get some sort of information, but there's a lack of clarity. And this may have to do related to a message in the past. And so you may be feeling a bit stuck in the past and you may be desiring to, to say something here related to the past. There's something here with you being stuck in the past. Yeah, so there are delays. There's not much communication, if any, going on. Yeah, so, okay, so this is big. Justice in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So something unjust may have happened here in the in the past. You may not be reaching out to this person. Um, I do feel that there's something here that this person may have done that it's just like you, you're not for it. You're not wanting to accept the cup from this person if they're going to be showing up in a particular way. You may feel that this person has not been connected to their intuition, that they've been acting immaturely, that, um, you know, especially emotionally immaturely. And so it's like you may not be going towards this person, but given the opportunity, you may be wanting to tell this person that you just don't want to deal with their, you know, their garbage and that you're not going to be putting up with this immature behavior. Um, because there's something here in the past that it's just like you're you're gonna close that out with strength okay and perseverance here it's like this can't happen again and you're looking at this in the past and for some of you you just may not want to deal with this person because i don't see you going towards this person but this person plans to reach out soon. And this person, I feel like this person is the one who's obsessing, who wants forgiveness, who, you know, still though, there is this need to clear away confusion related to how things are going to move forward as well as something from the past that you are just like, this needs to be closed out. This chapter needs to be closed out, whatever this is. Oh, and then I also asked here, um, yeah, the Fool and the Two of Wands in the reverse. I totally forgot Aquarian energy with the Fool. But I did ask about, um, you know, this devil because I wanted to know more. And this is this person wanting to have this, take this leap of faith, have this new beginning to go for something. But the Two of Wands in the reverse is one foot in, one foot out lack of planning, not knowing how to get there, not knowing which moves to make, which way to go. There's indecision, there's hesitancy. So this is why you're not hearing from this person at this time. If you are hoping to hear from them, I don't see you going towards this person, but the outcome with the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the uh, 
eight of cups and the chariot in the reverse this is pretty big because this is telling me that there is some sort of equal exchange here going on and the nine of pentacles in the reverse is telling me that it's it's you know it's not like the ideal but it's not the worst situation there's definitely a situation that may feel a bit unstable um and i do feel like there's with with the eight of cups though you know i want to pull an oracle card here but i'm i'm getting a pretty clear message boundaries yeah optimism money versus love patience at the bottom of the deck so yeah with these cards what i'm really getting is there could be some sort of equal give and take exchange here i feel like this is a conversation and it may push someone here out of their comfort zone and for example you know if this person's coming in for forgiveness or whatever it may be it's it's like i said it's not the ideal situation um for either of you there's still this unsteadiness this imbalance this insecure type vibe but it's like the eight of cups and the chariot but the chariot in the reverse there's a bit of like this directionless energy so it's like is there there's still questions is this the end or is this because i feel like with boundaries it's it's this could be a temporary like you know type thing but someone's setting boundaries because there's a lack of optimism and this may have to do with uh someone balancing their priorities it could have to do with love and money it could have to do with something that's getting in the way of some sort of emotional fulfillment and how someone like i said spends their time and the energy that they're bringing into this connection so there could be someone here who's setting boundaries and maybe even just deciding to focus on their own finances and and so forth but ten of cups here but there's still boundaries just a, okay so interesting is seven of swords okay so it is this equal exchange that is going to bring in some emotional happiness with this ten of cups which is beautiful but as for making things a hundred percent correct and like this justice and there's something here where it's like okay you know maybe you can forgive this person maybe you know it, it's like i said it's not the 100 percent ideal uh, justice because maybe there's something here where it's just like you can't take that back or you can't but it, it, it's almost like something is being dealt with to the best of one's ability but it still may not fix everything because this is the mundane this is pentacles energy right um but there is this ten of cups so emotionally there's this happiness but as far as really this, this justice and, and truth and fixing everything um it may be that what's done is done and you, it's it can't be erased right but i do feel like there's this desire this walking away it's it's, it's like yeah sure there's still this option for someone here to walk away i feel like someone is being more strategic with their energy um but also there may be some subtle signs here being revealed that and I feel like this is you, that you're not 100% sure which way you want to go here. Because there's still this stuck, directionless energy. And Aries, I feel like this has to do with what occurred here in the past, where justice, it's like, you know... You break a plate, you can try to put it back together, but it's not going to be perfect, right? The cracks are still there. So there is this emotional happiness that exists between the two of you in this harmony, but it's really, I feel like it's coming down to, are you able to forgive this person and get over something here that really caused something shatter, uh, something to shatter here or shook you up? 
something related to the past because there's something from the past that you're like this needs to stop this needs to be closed out and you are standing there very strong in in your values and your beliefs and what you need to see from this person right but there may be something here that's still making you feel like you're unsure of this person's loyalty or you're unsure of offering something up right away. I feel like this is a to be continued uh, to see how things kind of pan out here because emotionally things are feeling quite good. But as for picking up the pieces in this pentacle energy, which we have some reversals here, I feel like it's like, okay, well, what does this mean for the long term? What does this mean for the stability and security? Can we rebuild this? Can we work on this? Short term, it looks pretty good. Long term, what's going to change is what I'm hearing and getting, Aries. Ego in the reverse. So yeah, there's a need to really face the ego. This could be your person, but it's like... Yeah. Separation, friendship in the reverse. Yeah. What I'm really getting here is that there is a need for someone to drop the ego here, get over themselves, if, if whatever, if it's been pride and ego that's getting in the way, whatever it is, if they continue to do that, it's going to lead in some sort of separation and someone possibly friend zoning the other person or um, just not wanting to deal with this connection and, and it, it's leading to instability this has to do with someone's ego someone needs to face their ego someone needs to work through something here someone needs to face particular traumas um and i feel like this has to do with the past and what needs to be closed out and so i think that that's why aries it's like yeah, sure you're you're embracing the positive here with the ten of cups there is this harmony between the two of you in this moment and that's great but i i feel like for the long term you're really looking at like okay like what changes are actually going to be made here you're doing the best of your ability to kind of pick up the pieces uh but how are you gonna um or really how's this person is what i mean because i feel like this is what's going through your head how's this person going to either make it up prevent things from happening again like how is this person going to carry this thing forward right that's what i'm really getting so we're going to carry this over to the extended areas but we're going to still pull a few more cards here so if you'd like to join me over there the link for that is in the description box below we're going to explore all sorts of things um feelings intentions what you may not know along with um let's see feelings intentions actions what you may not know guidance and advice timing as well as messages from them we'll do a pick a card so if you'd like to join me over there keep watching and also the link is below heartache and loss spiritual union trapped in fear Rejoice and celebration at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there's this, there's sadness here that you are dealing with. But, you know, I feel like there's going to be this opportunity, this reunion, this coming back together to talk about things. However, what comes up here may put you a bit in your head. And I feel like the overall advice that I'm really getting for you before we dive deeper into all this and the extended. Uh, but what I'm really getting for you, Aries, is that to get out of your head here and to do what you can it's like sure the surface it may feel great but you don't you don't want to be trapped in fear right do what you can in that moment to address the things that need to be addressed so that you can let go a little bit okay strategize because there's something here that may be revealed to you right subtly go after that ask the questions that you need to ask and don't feel like you need to resolve this overnight. If you need some time to think about things and work through things, 
take that time anyone who truly cares about you deep down is going to offer you that space that time and of course respect the boundaries but um that's what i'm really getting for you aries if this resonated for you please let me know below i do read all my comments and i would love 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 to hear from you let me know your sun moon rising venus and any of your other major placements or your person's major placements because i'd love to know which part of the collective i'm actually connecting with but uh yeah that's what i have for you thank you so much i love you all so much and i will see you next time bye we have love and euphoria for this person. there may have been external circumstances or they're just getting karma for poor decisions right with finally learning a lesson or seeing things in a different way okay. or, and if you don't like picking a number you can't decide you can just go with the default pile which will be pile number one okay so we're gonna pull the overall energy of your person um of their headspace and heart space you know where they're at and two messages from them so if you chose and maybe also uh desiring to go towards growth so i'm realizing a lot 